Understanding absenteeism. A modern workplace challenge. Absenteeism, the habitual non-presence of an employee at their job, is a pervasive issue that modern organisations grapple with. It encompasses various forms, from unexpected sick days to chronic lateness, each impacting the workplace differently. The challenge employers face isn't just the absence itself, but understanding the underlying reasons and strategising effective responses. As we delve into this topic, it's important to recognise that absenteeism is not a one-size-fits-all problem. It varies widely among industries and cultures, requiring nuanced approaches for management. The concept of absenteeism isn't new. Historically, industries from manufacturing to services have faced this challenge. In the early 20th century, Henry Ford's assembly lines were plagued by absenteeism, prompting him to introduce strict attendance policies and incentives. Fast forward to today's corporate settings and the problem persists, albeit in more complex forms, Remote work, flexible schedules and digital monitoring have added layers of complexity to how absenteeism is tracked and managed. In understanding absenteeism, it's critical to differentiate between types. Planned absenteeism, like scheduled vacations, is often accounted for, while unplanned absenteeism, such as sudden illnesses, poses significant disruptions. Legitimate reasons might include medical emergencies, whereas illegitimate absenteeism can stem from disengagement or burnout, each type requires different management strategies to mitigate its impact on productivity and morale. Moreover, absenteeism isn't just a human resources issue. It affects organisational behaviour, operational efficiency and ultimately profitability. Companies with high absenteeism rates often face higher costs due to overtime pay, temporary replacements and lower overall productivity. Addressing absenteeism effectively can lead to a more engaged workforce, better team dynamics and improved organisational health. The relevance of addressing absenteeism. Today. In today's fast-paced and highly competitive business environment, addressing absenteeism has never been more crucial. The global shift towards remote work during the COVID-19 pandemic has further complicated the landscape of employee attendance. With physical presence no longer a strict requirement, the definition of absenteeism has evolved, making it more challenging to monitor and manage. This shift has also highlighted the importance of employee well-being and its direct correlation with attendance and productivity. Absenteeism can act as a barometer for broader organisational issues. Frequent absences might signal underlying problems such as workplace dissatisfaction, poor management or even systemic health issues. For instance, a study published in 2022 by the Harvard Business Review found that companies with high rates of absenteeism often had poor employee engagement scores. This finding underscores the importance of a holistic approach to managing absenteeism, one that goes beyond punitive measures and addresses root causes. Furthermore, absenteeism has significant financial implications. The Chartered Institute of Personnel and Development, CIPD, reported in 2023 that absenteeism costs UK businesses an estimated £18 billion annually. These costs include lost productivity, administrative expenses and the impact on team morale. Effective absenteeism management can thus lead to substantial cost savings and a more robust bottom line. In conclusion, tackling absenteeism is not just about reducing the number of days employees are absent. It's about fostering a healthier, more engaged workforce and creating an environment where employees feel valued and motivated to contribute. As we explore the various aspects of absenteeism in this video, we'll uncover strategies and stories that illustrate how organisations can turn this challenge into an opportunity for growth and improvement. Stay with us as we navigate this complex but essential topic, providing you with the insights and tools needed to master the maze of absenteeism. Planned absenteeism, a necessary downtime. Planned absenteeism refers to absences that are scheduled and pre-approved, such as vacations, maternity or paternity leave, 
and pre-arranged personal days. These absences are predictable and allow employers to plan accordingly, ensuring that workloads are managed and productivity is maintained. Planned absenteeism is an integral part of work-life balance, providing employees with the necessary downtime to recharge and maintain their well-being. Historically, planned absenteeism has been essential in maintaining a healthy workforce. For instance, during the Industrial Revolution, factory workers often faced grueling work schedules with little to no time off. This led to severe burnout and reduced productivity. Recognising this, progressive employers like Robert Owen in the early 19th century advocated for shorter workdays and regular breaks, understanding that well-rested employees were more efficient and less prone to errors. In modern workplaces, planned absenteeism is often managed through well-defined leave policies. These policies ensure that employees can take time off without disrupting the workflow excessively. For example, a 2021 survey by the Society for Human Resource Management, SHRM, found that organisations with flexible leave policies reported higher employee satisfaction and lower turnover rates. This highlights the importance of structured downtime as a strategy to enhance employee retention and overall organisational health. Moreover, planned absenteeism can also be a strategic tool for fostering creativity and innovation. Time away from the office allows employees to gain new perspectives, pursue personal interests and return with renewed energy and insights. Companies like Google have embraced this concept, offering programs such as 20% Time, where employees can dedicate a portion of their work hours to personal projects. This approach not only reduces burnout, but also sparks innovation, benefiting both employees and the organisation. Unplanned absenteeism, the unexpected void. Unplanned absenteeism, on the other hand, refers to unscheduled and often sudden absences due to reasons such as illness, family emergencies or other unforeseen circumstances. These absences pose significant challenges to organisations as they disrupt workflows and can lead to operational inefficiencies. Unlike planned absenteeism, unplanned absences require immediate adjustments and constrain resources, especially if they occur frequently. One notable historical example of unplanned absenteeism is the widespread influenza pandemic of 1918. This event led to massive sudden absences across various industries, severely impacting productivity and economic stability. Organisations had to quickly adapt by implementing new health protocols and finding ways to cover for the absent workforce. This historical lesson underscores the unpredictable nature of unplanned absenteeism and the need for robust contingency plans. In contemporary settings, unplanned absenteeism remains a critical issue. A 2023 report by the International Labour Organization, ILO, revealed that unplanned absences could cost businesses up to 10% of their annual payroll expenses due to overtime, temporary staffing and lost productivity. This financial burden highlights the importance of proactive measures such as cross-training employees and maintaining a flexible workforce to mitigate the impact of sudden absences. Furthermore, technology can play a pivotal role in managing unplanned absenteeism. Advanced scheduling software and real-time communication tools enable quick adjustments and redistribution of tasks when an employee is unexpectedly absent. Companies that leverage these technologies can maintain continuity and minimise disruptions, ensuring that operations run smoothly even in the face of unforeseen absences. Legitimate absenteeism, when life happens. Legitimate absenteeism encompasses absences due to valid and often unavoidable reasons such as medical emergencies, personal crises or significant life events. These absences are generally understood and accepted by both employers and colleagues as they stem from circumstances beyond the employee's control. Recognising and accommodating legitimate absenteeism is crucial for fostering a compassionate and supportive workplace culture. Throughout history, there have been numerous instances where understanding and accommodating legitimate absenteeism have proven beneficial. During World War II, many women had to step into the workforce as men went to war. 
employers recognised the legitimate need for these women to occasionally tend to family responsibilities, leading to more flexible work arrangements and support systems. This adaptability not only maintained workforce stability, but also underscored the importance of compassionate leadership. In today's workplace, legitimate absenteeism is often supported by comprehensive leave policies such as sick leave, bereavement leave and family medical leave. These policies provide employees with the necessary time to address personal issues without fear of losing their jobs. A 2022 study by Gallup found that companies with generous leave policies reported higher employee loyalty and engagement, illustrating the positive impact of supporting employees during critical times. Moreover, acknowledging legitimate absenteeism fosters a culture of trust and respect. When employees feel that their personal needs are respected and accommodated, they are more likely to remain committed and motivated. This mutual trust can significantly enhance organisational loyalty and reduce turnover rates. Employers who prioritise the well-being of their workforce by accommodating legitimate absences demonstrate a commitment to their employees' holistic health and job satisfaction. Illegitimate absenteeism, the challenge of disengagement. Illegitimate absenteeism, in contrast, refers to absences that lack valid justification and often stem from issues such as disengagement, low morale or dissatisfaction with the workplace. These absences are problematic as they can indicate deeper issues within the organisation, including poor management practices, a toxic work environment or lack of employee motivation. Addressing illegitimate absenteeism requires identifying and tackling these root causes. Historically, illegitimate absenteeism has been a marker of broader social and economic conditions. For example, during the Great Depression of the 1930s, many workers faced harsh working conditions and low wages, leading to widespread disengagement and frequent absences. Employers who recognised these issues and improved working conditions often saw a reduction in absenteeism and an increase in productivity, highlighting the link between employee satisfaction and attendance. In modern workplaces, illegitimate absenteeism can be a symptom of underlying organisational problems. A 2021 study by the University of Warwick found that employees who were disengaged or dissatisfied with their jobs were three times more likely to have frequent, unexplained absences. This finding underscores the importance of addressing factors such as job satisfaction, workplace culture and employee engagement to reduce illegitimate absenteeism. Effective strategies to combat illegitimate absenteeism include fostering a positive work environment, offering professional development opportunities and ensuring effective communication between management and staff. By addressing the root causes of disengagement, organisations can create a more motivated and committed workforce. Additionally, regular employee feedback and surveys can help identify issues early, allowing for timely interventions and support. Medical leave, a double-edged sword. Medical leave is a vital component of employee welfare providing necessary time off for individuals to recover from illnesses or medical procedures. However, it can also be misused, leading to significant challenges for organisations. The balance between offering support and preventing abuse is delicate and requires careful management to ensure fairness and productivity. Historically, medical leave policies have evolved to protect workers' health and well-being. In the early 20th century, Labour movements pushed for the introduction of sick leave, recognising that healthy workers were more productive. For example, the introduction of the UK's National Insurance Act in 1911 provided workers with illness benefits, laying the groundwork for modern medical leave policies. These policies have since become a standard part of employee benefits, fostering healthier work environments. Despite the benefits, the misuse of medical leave can create significant issues. Employees may exploit these policies to avoid work or shift their responsibilities onto others. This misuse not only disrupts workflows but also breeds resentment among colleagues who must pick up the slack. 
A 2019 report by the Chartered Institute of Personnel and Development, CIPD, highlighted that misuse of medical leave is a growing concern for HR departments, emphasising the need for robust monitoring and management practices. Furthermore, the misuse of medical leave can undermine trust between employers and employees. When medical leave is exploited, it forces organisations to implement stricter verification processes, which can feel intrusive to genuine cases. This can diminish morale and create a culture of suspicion. Therefore, balancing the needs of genuinely ill employees with the prevention of abuse is crucial for maintaining a healthy and productive work environment. Case Studies – The Misuse of Medical Leave To illustrate the misuse of medical leave, we can look at several notable case studies. These examples highlight the various ways in which medical leave policies can be exploited and the impact this has on organisations. One such case is the infamous sick leave scandal at the New York City Transit Authority in the early 2000s. Numerous employees were found to have taken extended medical leave without legitimate medical reasons, using the time off to pursue personal interests or second jobs. An internal investigation revealed widespread abuse, leading to stricter policies and monitoring systems. This case underscores the importance of vigilance and accountability in managing medical leave. Another example comes from the IT sector, where a tech company in Silicon Valley discovered a pattern of employees taking frequent short-term medical leaves. Upon closer examination, it was found that several employees were using these leaves to attend job interviews with competitors. This misuse not only disrupted project timelines, but also eroded trust within the team. The company responded by implementing more rigorous medical certification requirements and fostering a more engaging work environment to reduce turnover. A more recent case involved a large retail chain in Australia. During the COVID-19 pandemic, the company saw a surge in medical leave claims. While many were legitimate, there was also an increase in fraudulent claims as employees sought to avoid potential exposure to the virus or take advantage of the situation for extended breaks. The company had to balance the genuine health concerns of its workforce with the need to maintain operations, leading to the adoption of flexible work arrangements and enhanced health and safety protocols. These case studies demonstrate that while medical leave is essential, its misuse can have far-reaching consequences. Organisations must develop comprehensive strategies to detect and prevent abuse while supporting employees' legitimate health needs. Data-driven insights. Understanding the trend. To effectively address the misuse of medical leave, organisations must understand the underlying trends and patterns. Data-driven insights can provide valuable information on how medical leave is being utilised and identify potential areas of abuse. A 2022 survey by the Society for Human Resource Management revealed that 30% of organisations reported an increase in suspicious medical leave claims over the past five years. This trend was particularly pronounced in high-stress industries such as healthcare and finance. The survey highlighted the need for better tracking systems and more flexible work arrangements to address the root causes of absenteeism. Moreover, a study published in the Journal of Occupational and Environmental Medicine in 2021 found that companies with comprehensive wellness programmes saw lower rates of medical leave misuse. These programmes, which included mental health support, fitness initiatives and stress management workshops helped employees maintain their health and reduce the temptation to misuse leave policies. This finding suggests that promoting overall well-being can be an effective strategy for mitigating absenteeism. In addition to wellness programmes, technology can play a crucial role in monitoring medical leave. Advanced HR software can track leave patterns, flagging unusual activity for further review. For instance, predictive analytics can identify employees who are at risk of burnout or frequent absenteeism, allowing for early interventions. Companies that leverage these technological tools can gain better control over leave management and reduce the potential for abuse. Furthermore, 
Data from employee surveys can provide insights into the reasons behind medical leave claims, regularly soliciting feedback on workplace conditions, stress levels and overall job satisfaction can help organisations identify and address issues before they lead to absenteeism. By understanding the data and acting on it, companies can create a healthier, more supportive work environment that discourages misuse of medical leave. Addressing the misuse, strategies and solutions. Addressing the misuse of medical leave requires a multifaceted approach that combines policy adjustments, employee support and technological solutions. By implementing comprehensive strategies, organisations can reduce abuse while maintaining a supportive environment for those who genuinely need medical leave. First, clear and consistent leave policies are essential. Organisations should establish well-defined criteria for medical leave eligibility and ensure that these policies are communicated effectively to all employees. According to a 2021 report by Deloitte, Companies with transparent leave policies and robust communication channels experience lower rates of leave misuse. Clear guidelines help employees understand what is expected and reduce ambiguity that could lead to abuse. Second, fostering a culture of health and well-being can significantly reduce the misuse of medical leave. Offering wellness programs, mental health support and flexible work arrangements can help employees manage stress and maintain their health. For example, companies like Microsoft have implemented comprehensive wellness initiatives that include access to mental health professionals, on-site fitness centres and flexible work options. These initiatives have been shown to reduce absenteeism and improve overall employee satisfaction. Third, leveraging technology can enhance leave management. HR software that includes features for tracking leave, analysing patterns and flagging suspicious activity can help organisations keep a closer eye on medical leave usage. Additionally, integrating these systems with health and wellness programmes can provide a holistic view of employee well-being, enabling proactive interventions. Finally, regular employee engagement and feedback are crucial. Organisations should conduct surveys and hold open forums to understand the challenges employees face and address their concerns. By actively involving employees in the conversation, companies can build trust and create a more transparent and supportive work environment. This approach not only reduces the likelihood of leave misuse, but also fosters a stronger organisational culture. In conclusion, while the misuse of medical leave poses significant challenges, it can be effectively managed through clear policies, a culture of well-being, technological solutions and active employee engagement. In this section on team dynamics, we explore the domino effect of absenteeism. Absenteeism, particularly frequent or prolonged, can have a profound impact on team dynamics. When one member of a team is consistently absent, it disrupts the flow of work, forcing others to compensate and cover the missing person's responsibilities. This imbalance can lead to frustration, decreased morale, and even conflict among team members. The domino effect of absenteeism can deteriorate the cohesiveness and efficiency of a team, making it challenging to maintain high performance. Consider the historical example of the Manhattan Project during World War II. The project's success depended on the seamless collaboration of thousands of scientists and engineers. Any significant absenteeism could have derailed crucial research timelines and compromised the project's outcomes. The leadership's ability to manage attendance effectively was pivotal in keeping the team focused and productive, ensuring that each member's contributions were synchronised with the overarching goals. In modern workplaces, the impact of absenteeism on team dynamics is well documented. A 2021 report by the American Management Association found that teams with high absenteeism rates experienced a 22% reduction in overall productivity. This decrease was attributed to the additional workload placed on present team members, leading to burnout and decreased job satisfaction. The study highlighted the importance of maintaining a stable workforce to preserve team cohesion and efficiency. Moreover, 
Absenteeism can erode trust within a team. When members frequently miss work without valid reasons, it can breed resentment and reduce the sense of mutual reliance. Teams thrive on trust and dependability, and absenteeism undermines these foundational elements. Effective management of absenteeism involves not only addressing the absences, but also fostering a culture of accountability and support, ensuring that team members feel valued and connected. In this section on productivity, we delve into the hidden costs of absenteeism. Absenteeism's impact on productivity extends beyond the immediate absence of the employee. It disrupts workflows, delays project timelines, and necessitates the redistribution of tasks, all of which contribute to hidden costs that can significantly affect an organization's bottom line. These productivity losses are often underappreciated, but can accumulate to substantial figures over time. A historical instance that illustrates this is the construction of the Panama Canal. The project faced numerous challenges, including high rates of absenteeism due to tropical diseases. Each absence not only slowed progress, but also required the reallocation of tasks among the workforce, compounding delays and increasing costs. This example underscores how absenteeism can derail even the most meticulously planned projects, highlighting the need for effective health and attendance management. Contemporary data supports this notion. A 2022 study by the World Health Organization estimated that absenteeism due to health-related issues costs the global economy approximately $2.8 trillion annually in lost productivity. These losses stem from direct absenteeism, presenteeism, and the administrative burden of managing absences. This staggering figure emphasizes the critical need for organizations to prioritize attendance management as part of their productivity strategies. Additionally, absenteeism can lead to a vicious cycle of decreased productivity. When employees are frequently absent, those who remain are often overburdened with additional tasks, leading to stress and burnout. This, in turn, can cause further absenteeism, perpetuating a cycle that erodes overall productivity. Breaking this cycle requires proactive measures such as workload redistribution, cross-training, and fostering a supportive work environment that encourages attendance and well-being. In this section on organizational health, we discuss culture and morale. Absenteeism doesn't just affect productivity and team dynamics. It also impacts the broader organizational culture and employee morale. A workplace where absenteeism is prevalent can quickly develop a negative atmosphere, characterized by low morale, disengagement, and a lack of trust. Addressing absenteeism is thus vital for maintaining a positive organizational culture and high levels of employee satisfaction. Historically, the importance of organizational culture in managing absenteeism can be seen in successful companies like IBM. In the mid 20th century, IBM was known for its strong corporate culture and commitment to employee welfare. This focus on creating a supportive and engaging work environment resulted in lower absenteeism rates and higher overall productivity. IBM's example illustrates how a positive culture can mitigate absenteeism and enhance organizational health. Modern research reinforces this connection. A 2023 report by Gallup found that organizations with high employee engagement scores experience 41% lower absenteeism. Engaged employees are more likely to feel connected to them and less likely to take unnecessary absences. This finding highlights the role of engagement and morale in attendance management, suggesting that fostering a positive work environment can significantly reduce absenteeism. Furthermore, absenteeism can signal deeper issues within an organization's culture. Frequent absences might indicate problems such as poor management, lack of job satisfaction, or inadequate support systems. Addressing these root causes is essential for reducing absenteeism and improving overall organizational health. By creating a culture of support, recognition, and engagement, organizations can enhance morale and reduce the frequency of absences, leading to a more vibrant and productive workplace.
Financial impact, the bottom line. The financial implications of absenteeism are profound, affecting not only direct costs such as wages for absent employees, but also indirect costs like productivity losses, overtime pay, and the administrative burden of managing absences. These financial impacts can be significant, making it essential for organizations to understand and address absenteeism to protect their bottom line. Historically, businesses have recognized the financial impact of absenteeism and taken steps to mitigate it. For instance, during the post-World War II economic boom, many companies introduced paid sick leave policies to reduce the financial burden of absenteeism. These policies aimed to provide a safety net for employees while minimizing the disruption caused by unplanned absences. This historical perspective highlights the ongoing struggle to balance employee welfare with financial stability. Contemporary studies provide a clearer picture of the financial costs. According to a 2023 report by the Chartered Institute of Personnel and Development, absenteeism costs UK businesses an estimated £18 billion annually. These costs include lost productivity, the expense of temporary staff or overtime, and the administrative costs of managing absences. This figure underscores the significant financial burden absenteeism places on organisations and the importance of effective management strategies. Moreover, absenteeism can affect profitability in more subtle ways. High absenteeism rates can lead to lower customer satisfaction due to delays and reduced service quality. This in turn can harm a company's reputation and lead to lost business opportunities. Addressing absenteeism effectively involves not only managing the direct costs, but also mitigating these broader financial impacts. In conclusion, absenteeism has far-reaching effects on team dynamics, productivity, organisational culture and financial health. Proactive attendance management, building a strong foundation. Effective absenteeism management begins with a proactive approach. Organisations must establish clear policies and procedures that define expectations, outline consequences and provide support mechanisms for employees. This foundational step is crucial in creating an environment where attendance is valued and supported. Developing a robust attendance policy involves setting clear guidelines for acceptable absenteeism and the procedures for reporting and managing absences. For instance, a policy might specify the number of allowable sick days, the required documentation for extended medical leave, and the process for requesting time off. A 2020 survey by the Society for Human Resource Management found that companies with well-defined attendance policies experienced 25% lower rates of absenteeism, underscoring the importance of clear guidance. Additionally, training managers to handle absenteeism effectively is essential. Managers should be equipped with the skills to address attendance issues empathetically and consistently. This includes understanding the root causes of absenteeism, providing support for legitimate absences, and addressing patterns of unplanned or illegitimate absenteeism. A 2021 report by Deloitte highlighted that organisations with trained managers saw higher employee morale and lower absenteeism rates. Regular monitoring and review of attendance data are also critical. By analysing patterns and trends, organisations can identify potential issues early and take preventive measures. For example, if data shows a spike in absences during a particular period, the organisation can investigate and address the underlying causes. This proactive approach helps in maintaining a stable workforce and minimising disruptions. Finally, fostering open communication about attendance expectations helps build a culture of accountability and support. Encouraging employees to discuss their attendance challenges openly can lead to better understanding and solutions. By creating an environment where employees feel comfortable discussing their needs. Organisations can address issues before they escalate into chronic absenteeism. Employee engagement and well-being, the heart of the solution. At the core of reducing absenteeism is enhancing employee engagement and well-being. Engaged and healthy employees are less likely to miss work, 
and more likely to contribute positively to the organization. Therefore, investing in programs that support employee well-being is a strategic approach to managing absenteeism. One effective strategy is to implement wellness programs that address physical, mental and emotional health. Offering fitness programs, mental health resources and stress management workshops can help employees maintain their well-being. A 2022 study by Gallup found that organisations with comprehensive wellness programmes had 37% lower absenteeism rates. These programmes not only promote health, but also demonstrate an organisation's commitment to employee well-being. Creating a positive work environment is also crucial. Employees who feel valued and appreciated are more likely to be engaged and less likely to take unnecessary absences. Recognition programmes, career development opportunities and a supportive management style can all contribute to a positive workplace culture. According to a 2021 report by the Harvard Business Review, companies with high levels of employee recognition experience 31% lower absenteeism rates. Flexible work arrangements can further enhance engagement and reduce absenteeism. Offering options such as remote work, flexible hours and compressed work weeks allows employees to balance their personal and professional lives more effectively. A 2023 report by the International Labour Organization indicated that flexible work arrangements led to a 20% reduction in absenteeism, highlighting their effectiveness in supporting employee well-being. Moreover, fostering a sense of community and belonging within the workplace can significantly impact attendance. Social events, team building activities and inclusive practices help create a supportive network among employees. When employees feel connected to their colleagues and the organisation, they are more likely to show up and contribute positively to the team. Leveraging technology, tools for effective absence management. In the modern workplace, Technology plays a pivotal role in managing absenteeism. Advanced tools and systems can streamline the tracking, analysis and management of employee attendance, making it easier to identify issues and implement solutions. One of the most effective technological tools is attendance management software. These systems automate the tracking of employee attendance, monitor patterns and generate reports. For instance, software like Kronos and Bamboo HR offer comprehensive solutions that include automated time tracking, leave management and real-time analytics. A 2022 survey by the American Payroll Association found that organisations using such software experienced a 15% reduction in absenteeism due to improved accuracy and efficiency in tracking attendance. Predictive analytics is another powerful tool. By analysing historical attendance data, predictive models can identify employees at risk of frequent absenteeism and suggest proactive interventions. For example, if an employee's attendance patterns indicate potential burnout, the system can alert managers to take preventive measures, such as offering additional support or adjusting workloads. A 2023 study by McKinsey & Company highlighted that companies using predictive analytics saw a 12% decrease in absenteeism by addressing issues before they escalated. Communication and collaboration tools also play a crucial role in managing absenteeism. Platforms like Slack, Microsoft Teams and Zoom enable seamless communication, ensuring that teams remain connected even when some members are absent. These tools facilitate quick adjustments to workloads and keep everyone informed minimising the disruption caused by absenteeism. According to a 2021 report by Gartner, organisations that effectively utilise digital communication tools experienced a smoother workflow and less impact from unplanned absences. Finally, integrating health and wellness apps into the workplace can support employee well-being and reduce absenteeism. Apps like Headspace for Mindfulness, My Fitness Pal for Fitness Tracking and Talkspace for Mental Health Support provide employees with accessible resources to maintain their health. By promoting the use of these apps, organisations can help employees manage stress, stay healthy and reduce the likelihood of absenteeism.
Historical anecdotes and expert opinions. Lessons from the past and present. Learning from historical examples and expert opinions can provide valuable insights into effective absenteeism management. These lessons highlight the importance of proactive strategies, employee support and innovative solutions. One historical example is the approach taken by the Ford Motor Company in the 1920s. Faced with high absenteeism rates, Henry Ford introduced a five-day work week and doubled wages, recognising that better working conditions would lead to higher productivity and attendance. This bold move not only reduced absenteeism, but also improved employee satisfaction and loyalty. Ford's strategy exemplifies how investing in employee well-being can yield significant benefits. Expert opinions also emphasize the importance of a holistic approach to absenteeism management. According to Dr. John Sullivan, a renowned HR thought leader, effective absenteeism management requires a balance of clear policies, supportive leadership and employee engagement. Dr. Sullivan's research, published in 2021, found that organizations that combined these elements experienced higher employee retention and lower absenteeism rates. Another expert, Dr. Jeffrey Pfeffer, emphasizes the role of workplace culture in managing absenteeism. In his 2022 book, Dying for a Paycheck, Dr. Pfeffer argues that toxic work environments are a significant driver of absenteeism. He advocates for creating a culture of respect, support and well-being to reduce absenteeism and improve overall organizational health. His findings suggest that addressing cultural issues is crucial for effective absenteeism management. Historical lessons also highlight the importance of adaptability. During the COVID-19 pandemic, organizations had to quickly adapt to remote work and flexible schedules. Companies that successfully managed this transition, such as Twitter and Shopify, saw lower absenteeism rates and maintained productivity. These examples underscore the need for flexibility and innovation in attendance management, particularly in times of crisis. In conclusion, historical anecdotes and expert opinions provide valuable insights into effective absenteeism management. By learning from the past and incorporating expert recommendations, Organisations can develop comprehensive strategies to reduce absenteeism, enhance employee well-being and improve overall productivity. The Ethics of Absenteeism Management Managing absenteeism effectively requires a delicate balance not only between operational efficiency and employee well-being, but also between ethical considerations and practical realities. Organizations must navigate the complex terrain of human behavior, health and productivity while upholding ethical standards that respect employee dignity and rights. Ethics in absenteeism management starts with respect for individual circumstances. Employees may face myriad personal challenges from health issues to family emergencies that necessitate time away from work. A humane approach to absenteeism acknowledges these realities and seeks to support employees through compassionate policies and practices. For example, during the 19th century, enlightened factory owners like Robert Owen advocated for shorter work hours and better working conditions, recognizing that humane treatment of employees led to greater productivity and loyalty. Moreover, ethical absenteeism management involves transparency and fairness. Policies should be clearly communicated and consistently applied to avoid perceptions of favoritism or discrimination. A 2021 study by the Ethics and Compliance Initiative, ECI, found that organisations with transparent and consistent attendance policies reported higher levels of employee trust and morale. This underscores the importance of fairness in maintaining a positive workplace culture. Additionally, ethical considerations include the protection of employee privacy. As organisations implement more sophisticated tracking and monitoring systems, it's crucial to ensure that these tools are used responsibly. Employees should be informed about how their attendance data is being collected and used. A 2022 report by the International Labour Organization, ILO, stressed the importance of safeguarding employee privacy in the digital age, highlighting that transparent data practices enhance trust and compliance. Finally, an ethical approach to absenteeism management considers the broader impact on employee well-being. Policies should not be punitive, but supportive 
aiming to address underlying issues rather than merely penalising absences. For instance, offering mental health resources and flexible work arrangements can help employees manage their health and reduce the need for absenteeism. By prioritising employee well-being, organisations can foster a more engaged and productive workforce. Balancing employee rights and organisational needs. Striking a balance between employee rights and organisational needs is essential in managing absenteeism. While it is crucial to support employees' legitimate reasons for being absent, organisations also need to ensure that their operational needs are met. Achieving this balance requires thoughtful policies and empathetic management. Employee rights, such as the right to medical leave and personal time, are protected by various laws and regulations. Organisations must comply with these legal requirements while also creating policies that support their unique operational needs. For example, the Family and Medical Leave Act, or FMLA, in the United States guarantees eligible employees up to 12 weeks of unpaid leave for specified family and medical reasons. Employers need to accommodate these rights while planning for potential disruptions. Balancing these needs involves creating flexible and adaptable policies. For instance, offering options like remote work, flexible hours or job sharing arrangements can help meet both employee and organisational needs. A 2023 report by McKinsey & Company found that organisations with flexible work policies had lower absenteeism rates and higher employee satisfaction. These findings suggest that flexibility is key to balancing competing interests. Effective communication is also critical in achieving this balance. Managers should engage in open and honest dialogues with employees about attendance expectations and the reasons behind absences. Understanding individual circumstances can help managers provide appropriate support while maintaining operational efficiency. A 2021 study by the Harvard Business Review emphasised the importance of empathetic leadership in managing absenteeism, noting that employees are more likely to be honest and cooperative when they feel understood and respected. Finally, fostering a culture of mutual responsibility can help balance employee rights and organisational needs. Encouraging employees to take ownership of their attendance and understand its impact on the team and the organisation promotes a collaborative approach. By building a culture of accountability, organisations can create an environment where employees feel responsible for their attendance while also feeling supported in times of genuine need. Legal considerations and best practices. Navigating the legal landscape of absenteeism. Management is crucial for organisations to avoid potential liabilities and ensure compliance with employment laws. Understanding the legal framework and implementing best practices can help organisations manage absenteeism effectively and ethically. Employment laws vary by country and region, but common provisions include the protection of employee rights to medical leave, family leave and reasonable accommodations. For example, the Americans with Disabilities Act, or ADA, requires employers in the United States to provide reasonable accommodations for employees with disabilities, which may include flexible leave policies. Organisations must stay informed about relevant laws and regulations to ensure compliance and avoid legal repercussions. Implementing best practices involves developing clear and comprehensive attendance policies that comply with legal requirements. These policies should outline the procedures for requesting leave, the documentation required and the process for addressing excessive absenteeism. A 2021 survey by the Society for Human Resource Management or SHARM found that organisations with well-documented attendance policies had fewer legal disputes related to absenteeism. Training managers on legal considerations and best practices is also essential. Managers should be knowledgeable about employment laws and trained to handle absenteeism issues fairly and legally. This includes understanding the rights of employees under laws such as the FMLA and ADA and knowing how to provide reasonable accommodations. A 2022 report by Deloitte 
emphasize the importance of manager training in reducing legal risks and improving attendance management. Furthermore, maintaining accurate and detailed records of employee attendance is a best practice that can protect organizations in the event of legal disputes. Documentation should include records of leave requests, approvals and any accommodations provided. This not only ensures compliance but also helps organizations track attendance patterns and identify potential issues early. In conclusion, understanding legal considerations and implementing best practices are essential for managing absenteeism effectively and ethically. By staying informed about relevant laws, developing clear policies, training managers and maintaining accurate records, organisations can navigate the legal landscape and support both employee rights and organisational needs. Building a culture of trust and accountability. Creating a culture of trust and accountability is key to effectively managing absenteeism. When employees trust their organisation and feel accountable for their attendance, they are more likely to be present and engaged. Building such a culture requires intentional efforts and consistent practices. Trust starts with transparent communication. Organisations should clearly communicate their attendance policies, the reasons behind them and the support available for employees. Transparency helps employees understand expectations and reduces uncertainty. A 2020 report by the Ethics and Compliance Initiative found that organisations with transparent communication practices had higher levels of employee trust and lower absenteeism rates. Accountability involves encouraging employees to take responsibility for their attendance and understanding its impact on the organisation. This can be achieved through regular feedback and performance reviews that include discussions about attendance. A 2021 study by the Harvard Business Review highlighted that incorporating attendance metrics into performance evaluations can promote accountability and reduce absenteeism. Leadership plays a crucial role in fostering trust and accountability. Leaders who model reliable attendance, engage in transparent communication, and show empathy towards employees' personal challenges set the tone for the entire organisation. According to a 2022 report by Gallup, organisations with strong, empathetic leadership experienced lower absenteeism and higher employee engagement. Finally, recognising and rewarding good attendance can reinforce a culture of accountability. Recognition programmes that celebrate employees with consistent attendance and provide incentives for reliability can motivate others to follow suit. For example, companies like Zappos have implemented recognition programmes that reward employees for perfect attendance, leading to improved morale and reduced absenteeism. In conclusion, building a culture of trust and accountability is essential for managing absenteeism effectively. By fostering transparent communication, promoting responsibility, modelling leadership and recognising good attendance, organisations can create an environment where employees feel valued and committed to being present. Summary of key points. Absenteeism is a multifaceted challenge that affects team dynamics, productivity, organisational health and financial performance. By understanding the different types of absenteeism, planned, unplanned, legitimate and illegitimate, organisations can develop targeted strategies to manage it effectively. The misuse of medical leave highlights the need for balanced policies that support genuine cases while preventing abuse. Data-driven insights and case studies illustrate the importance of proactive management and the role of technology in tracking and analysing absenteeism patterns. Absenteeism's ripple effects on productivity and organisational health underscore the need for comprehensive strategies that address its root causes. Investing in employee engagement, well-being and flexible work arrangements can create a more supportive environment that reduces absenteeism. Ethical considerations and legal compliance are critical in managing absenteeism. Organisations must balance employee rights with operational needs by developing clear policies, training managers and fostering a culture of trust and accountability. By leveraging historical anecdotes and expert opinions, 
Organisations can learn valuable lessons and implement best practices to tackle absenteeism effectively. Building a culture of transparency, responsibility and recognition is key to promoting reliable attendance and enhancing overall organisational health. The role of M. Yoga, coaching and consulting. At M. Yoga Coaching and Consulting, we understand the complexities of absenteeism and the challenges it poses to organisations. Our expertise lies in helping businesses develop strategic solutions that address absenteeism's root causes and foster a supportive and productive work environment. We offer comprehensive consulting services that include developing clear and effective attendance policies, implementing wellness programmes and flexible work arrangements, leveraging technology to monitor and analyse attendance patterns, training managers on best practices and legal considerations, fostering a culture of trust, accountability and recognition. Our approach is tailored to each organisation's unique needs, ensuring that our solutions are practical, sustainable and impactful. By partnering with us, organisations can reduce absenteeism, improve employee engagement and enhance overall productivity. Invitation to a complimentary career breakthrough call. We invite you to take the first step towards mastering the maze of absenteeism by booking a complimentary career breakthrough call with M. Yoga Coaching and Consulting. During this call, Dr. Yoga will assess your current challenges and provide actionable insights to help you manage absenteeism effectively. Take advantage of this opportunity to explore how our customized solutions can transform your workplace and foster a healthier, more engaged workforce. Together, we can turn the challenge of absenteeism into an opportunity for growth and improvement. As we conclude, remember the words of Adam Grant. The most meaningful way to succeed is to help others succeed. Let's work together to create a work environment where every employee feels valued, supported, and motivated to contribute. We look forward to partnering with you on this journey. Book your complimentary career breakthrough call today and start building a stronger, more resilient home.